hello and welcome to another episode of design with pam today we're going to be designing this page you're seeing here is more like a statistics page that shows the users their well how their account is doing the progress so far right um shows them from november the filter for within one year the filter for 20 years and they can also see some 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 sort of transaction history carried out on their account right so let's get right into it first thing we're going to do is to go ahead and select the frame here then select the iphone 13 mini from the section so let's title our frame to statistics so i'm going to take this frame here that shows battery life and all of that and i'm going to position it so my heading for a page i like to have a frame where i put everything in it i just give the frame a height of 52 okay then i make sure that it comes immediately after that frame that shows the bar on the phone right so i'm going to click on t on my keyboard and i'm going to type statistics right i'm using this font here avener and i'm going to leave it at 16. right so i'm going to try to increase the weight a bit from medium i'm going to leave it at heavy so this icon here is one here just right click on your mouse and then go to plugins and then go to hero icons if you want to form your portfolio and this is your first time on my channel i have so many videos i did a 30 days design for people who need guidance on how to transition into ui and so again try to make use of layout grid just have some form of alignment in your design right so i'm going to click on this this style here because i already have it saved up on my style guide like right so i'm going to click on it then i'm going to activate my grid lines i want to be sure that what i'm doing is position so i want this to be in the middle of my frame i'm going to go here and choose um align vertically this one too align vertically make sure it's in the middle okay so we're good to go there i'm going to click on and um, t on my keyboard and i'm going to type ng nara so this is trying to show the customer's total portfolio right so you can also add the, the name total portfolio there so after this class you can you can make amendments to the design let me see what you can come up with right so from i'm going to leave it at medium right Okay, so I'm going to also click on T on my keyboard and I'm going to type 20. I think this person has 20 million. Is it 20 million I see there? So I'm going to make it a heavy and I'm going to increase it to 20. So I'm going to select the boat and cre create an auto layout. So the spacing between the two, I don't want it to be that much. So I'm going to make it an 8. Alright, so this the spacing between this and this one, let's leave it at a... 28 okay so notice how i'm following the grid lines here right we're good we're getting there so i'm going to click on t on my keyboard again and type november 2022 to july 2023 right so i'm going to use the same font call um, color that i use here for this section here but I'm going to reduce this to a medium. I'm going to leave it at font 16. So the next thing is to create this, this drop down that we have here. I'm going to click on T on my keyboard and I'm going to type one year. Then I'm going to click shift A on my keyboard to add an auto layout. Then I'm going to come on this auto layout section for the horizontal padding i'm going to make it a 24 and then i'm going to reduce the vertical padding to four right this is centered then i'm going to add a bit of stroke here i think it's stroke that did the work for me here i'm going to choose the same color that i've been using here can copy the color code here 
but i'm going to also come here and round the corners to like eight it is too much let's say four four is great so i'm going to add a drop down icon go to right click on your mouse go to plugins and go to um hero icon find your drop down i think this is good but i'm going to remove this drop down icon i'm going to click inside it drag out the icon itself because it always comes with a frame i don't want the frame there so i'm going to then drag it and chuck it into here it's going to take it in sorry it's going to take it in because it's an is on auto layout so the spacing between this one here and this icon i'm going to reduce it to be uh, a six right so i'm going to try to change the color of this um icon to black the i have a black color that i've saved in my style this is the color code so i'm going to also use that change it i don't like using pure black i'm going to change the colors here All right so for this one um i noticed that i think it's a bit too much then i'm going to go to this the horizontal part in let's make it a 16. apologies here then i'm going to select this um filter button and i'm going to select the text here and i'm going to create an auto layout which is good so far so the next thing i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to walk around all of this so what i did was to click l on my keyboard that's the a line activate the line tool then i'm going to simply drag the line here i use the width that i use is um i use 282 i think this is okay then the color that i used is 8086 9c i then reduced the opacity to i think this is okay so how i got all this thing going on here is this i duplicated this line what i did was i held on to the line clicked on the line i held on to option or alt button i did i separated i created another one that i'm creating a duplicate select the both of them by holding on to shift i created an auto layout I like things being easy for me because i want it to be this line i want it to be up to 10 2 4 6 8 9 okay we have nine so when i have created an auto layer within it i'm going to go ahead to select just one line i'm going to click on command c command v so like this is going to create once i keep pasting that i've copied it and i'll paste it in multiple times multiple times so that i can get what i want so i have nine lines now so i'm going to go ahead to create the spacing between them let's give it a 32. so we're going to work with the 32 for starters but before i continue and put all this line into it let's create this text here i'm going to click on t on my keyboard and i'm going to type 10,000. i think it's 10 million this is 10 million really all right so i'm going to reduce the space in here let's give it a 28. So let's give it a 30. okay very good so i'm going to try to increase the font of this number right because is um because i want it to be very prominent not the font rather the font width so i'll increase it to a to heavy so let me just copy out my this narrow sign that we have here so i think this might be looking too big let's try to reduce it to a 12. all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to duplicate it so i want one to be highlighted right so i'm going to create an auto layout right on it by hitting shift a then i'm going to reduce the vertical padding to let's give it a six then the horizontal padding let's give it a four still appears to be too big 
let's make this a two all right so i'm going to round the corners here to an eight then i'm going to add a fill to it for the fill let's go with this then i'm going to go ahead and change the color here hold on to control select the text in it and then drag to white so let's reduce the corner radius to a four better because it's the same thing the corner radius i've been using it doesn't have it's not too round it just has an edge going on so i'm going to duplicate this again duplicate this so how many test numbers do we have here one two three four five six six so i'm going to select everything now and i'm going to create an auto layout then i'm going to select this one in particular by holding on to my command and then co co command copy command v command v how many do we have two four six two four six let's remove one then i'm going to go ahead and drag this space in here just so it sits well all right so let me show you what i did here for this section here what i did was i created a line i clicked on l on my keyboard held on to shift and created a line then i created a rectangle for this rectangle just a small rectangle the width i gave it a a three then i rounded the corners up to 100 right then i chucked it in here i gave this one a, a color yellow so whenever i give it that color i also give the line with it the same color right then i selected the both of them and i grouped it so when i grouped it i then chucked it into my design but remember because we have an auto layout on this if we put anything there it's going to create space for it right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this absolute proportion why selecting whatever we added there that caused the shift we're going to click on it then we're going to add it perfectly on each line you just find different places to add it then change the colors you know it just kind of shows trend it shows trend so yeah that is what i did for this section right then another thing i did was to add a line line here i clicked on l and i dragged the line so i'm going to chuck it into this place but i'm going to click on click on absolute position then bring it here i'm going to drag it just to be here then i'm going to go to this absolute stroke setting and i'm going to change it from solid to dash then i'm going to go and change the color select this color that we've been using and that is what i did right so the next thing that i did was to add this date thing going on here i'm going to just copy and paste the one that i have here but i'm going to show you what i did i used a sophia sans for this here and i changed the font to 12 left it at regular and i created an auto layout with it and i made the spacing to be nine right it's as simple as that so between the two this frame i have here and this one created an auto layout and made the spacing six which is okay so for this one and this one i also created an auto layout and the spacing between it is 10 which is okay all right so the next thing is to add the transaction history the transaction history i'm going to click t on my keyboard and i'm going to type transaction I'm going to increase the font to a 16. I'm going to change the color from black to the black I have here. Duplicate this and type C all. And I'm going to reduce this font to a 14. And I'm going to also change the color. So this color that we have been using. So I'm going to use my color picker. And I'm going to select this and select this and create an auto layout.
all right i think we positioned it very well so for the spacing between this items here and this transaction history section i'm going to give it a spacing of 32 it's fine then i'm going to create this box here i'm going to take my frame and i'm going to create a frame so for the frame i'm going to give it a width of 154 why the height i'm going to make it if 142 then let's give it a few color let's go take the color picker here and choose the color that we have here then i'm also going to round the corners to 12. i'm going to duplicate this and change the color pick the color here I'll give you two tags today right you're going to fill up this section here right with everything that i've added here i'm going to zoom in so you see it very well and you're also going to fill up this section i have a video tutorial where i created this where i created this this shape that you're seeing here but for context i actually use the pen tool okay so that is what i did then i'm going to also give you like an expo <laughs> for this section i use the font is 14 i use the same black that i've been using this should be the same black yes same black that i've been using. you can use the same black that i've been using since then for this one i changed the color also but use the same color that we used here when we didn't want to put black at all right same thing with it and same thing with this but what I, the emphasis i want to know what i want to understand is how can you make this section better right what font are you going to use at this section and what font are you going to use at this section then once you're done you can send me a dm on my instagram this is me my name is pamela the designer on instagram and tiktok send me your figma link i can give you feedback please subscribe to my youtube channels and encourage me to continue doing what i'm doing but last but not the least try and find this icon from hero icon and then chuck it in to this heading frame that we have here all right thank you very much and please like subscribe and share this video thank you and see you next design